Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's been amazing. We've been working on it for about two and a half months now. Um, I do this in addition to my day job, in addition to my writing and speaking, and everyone has just come together to support it. We've had media interest, we've had model interest, which has been enormous. We've had 93 applicants. Um, we've also had amazing designers come on board, and we've had great people volunteer their time. You know, a stylist volunteer their time, a disco ball holder volunteering their time. Um, we've had people come on board to um, do catering and, and provide us drinks. And, uh, it's been amazing, incredible. So, and the work that's gone in it has been enormous. So, I really hope it reflects on the day. And how happy are you to be at the day now? Yeah, amazing. I mean, I just said at Melbourne Writers Festival that you know, if if you're not invited to the party, invite yourself. And I did. I pitched to Melbourne Fashion Week because it was my dream to be involved in this and to have a space for disabled people to um, walk the catwalk. So I pitched and it got in. Yeah. Great. And um, so with this, uh, what is what are you trying to? Uh, I guess. Um, we want to show designers, retailers, the fashion industry that we are here, we are buying clothes. It's really important that they cater to us, that they make fashion accessible, that they make shops accessible, and not only physically accessible, but attitudinally accessible as well, so that they don't look down on us when we come in the store, that they welcome us like they welcome every other customer. Um, the other thing that I really want to achieve, it's a day for us. It's a day for us to be together. It's a day for us to have fun and celebrate our disability pride. And it's a day for us to get glammed up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in regards to uh, accessibility, uh, people may not always be aware of maybe some of the, I guess, uh, the things that, you know, impede that. Can you give us an idea of, yeah. uh, of some of those? Yeah, sure. So it's not even, it's about not even being able to get in the door. It's about no space in the change rooms, maybe not able to wheel through the store because there's objects in the way. But also it's about not being spoken to by a, you know, by a customer service person. It's about being spoken to rudely, it might be snickering, it might be you know, not, not being served like the next person. I certainly um, have very um, limited accessibility needs compared to my friends, but I've had examples where um, people have just you know, asked me what's wrong with me before they have asked me how they can help. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, and with, with, uh, with this, I mean, uh, what do you sort of feel is, is, uh, I mean, is already sort of achieved and, and, and uh, are you feeling it can do? Um, well, it's just achieved enormous interest from the models. I mean, it's a space for them to be themselves, to walk the catwalk. Um, but also, I really hope not to run again because I want designers, I want the fashion industry to take note that we're here. That to embed us in everything that you do. In next year's fashion, Melbourne Fashion Week, I want people to be thinking, hey, we're going to get some disabled models, hey, we're going to make our um, parades accessible, we're going to get Auslan to do this, for example. So I really want people to think about it, to think about what we're doing and know that they can embed accessibility into Fashion Week next year. And um, this is, uh, uh, I was reading in the, the bio, you know, you sort of have a passion for fashion, I guess. Uh, in a bit of a, a, a pitch in some ways, uh, this isn't a case of just uh, you know, the, I guess the, the goodness of, this, of people's hearts and companies, there's, uh, there's a dollar for them to be made as well, Absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, the quick dollar. You know, we're 20% we're, we're of the society and we're, we're 